Roger Moore is one of the most famous actors to portray James Bond out there. I want to say he did it in at least six or seven. I could be wrong. He could have done it in more. But the last time he did it was back in 1985. But that doesn't stop Roger Moore from continually coming out and saying what he would like for the character. He's, he's very protective of the character, as you can understand, because it is James Bond. He is a legendary character. And Roger Moore was one of the reasons that he was so big. My opinion, though, I like Sean Connery better than Roger Moore. But well, Sean Connery had the role first, so... Yeah. It makes... Yeah, and I think, I think he did it better. Well, they're both he just did it for better it. in my mind. Um, but we're not going to get into that argument right here. But recently, somebody has gone and asked him what... Because there's been some rumors floating around. What would you think of a female James Bond? And to that... Uh, Roger Moore, mm, he's kind of protective. So, but now what he said is you can have a female, a Jane Bond, but it would have nothing to do with James Bond. No, Bond is Bond, is what he says. So he's not saying, no, he doesn't want a female version. Of, well, I guess, yeah, he is saying, no, don't have a female version of this character. And I found that kind of interesting because I, I don't think he's right on this. I think you could have a female version of this character and do it spectacularly. Because what we've only seen, what, uh, 22 versions of the same guy running around in these movies uh, from time to time? It, it, could it really hurt to change it up, to give us a little bit different dynamic to one of the most beloved characters of all time in James Bond, one of the biggest movie franchises ever made? I want to say the longest mov running movie franchise ever. And yeah, really, could it really. hurt us to get... And yeah, you would have to call her Jane Bond, of course. Okay, you can't call her James Bond. Understood. Call her but Jane she could e still Bond. be 007. And it sounded to me like in his quote, he didn't want her to be 007. That was kind of what it was. I don't want her to be 007. She can be a spy somewhere else, but not 007. And I totally disagree with that. I, I, think, I think we could get a female character in there as 007, and it would be amazing. Now, it would have to be done tactfully. And it would have to be done right. Like, if you look back at some times where we've seen this, where they change the male characters to female characters, we saw that most recently with Ghostbusters, the, the reboot. Now, I actually saw that a long time after it came out in theaters, and I thought it was uh, actually entertaining. Nowhere near the first one, granted, but there's the nostalgia factor that I have with the first one that, unfortunately, you just can't, I can't have with I can't now, have with a newer movie. Now, I think uh, what Roger Moore was saying, though, was not so much that it wouldn't be good, uh, like a good movie, if you did it this way. I think a lot of his argument really just fell down on that's not how the character was written by Ian Fleming in the books, in the original books. Well, of course not. Out. It was a male character in the books. No, but I, I'm not saying that he's saying not to... I'm saying he wants... He's not saying not to do a female spy. He just doesn't want her to be 007. That's yeah. kind of how I interpret which, this. Which I kind of see why not... Um, why not just make it essentially a spin-off route of now you have a new 006, 005... You can do yeah, any other spy. Like, yeah, but you I don't need at... to make her James Bond. You don't need to do either. In fact, they don't yeah, really need true. to continue I mean, making a James Bond. They like, can always go 004 I, in any role, whatever. I just think it would be a really cool dynamic to have it change 007, change the mantle to a female. Uh, I think it would just be really cool. She could do a lot of different things that we wouldn't see. I mean, finesse and, and suaveness is all about James Bond and... You know, women have more finesse than any men. So, you know, like I can see her doing some really, really cool things. I just I would like her to keep the mantle of 007. She still has to be a kick ass. She still has to be, a, be able to fight people and jump off like cool buildings and stuff like they do. Um, but you can definitely change the dynamic of the character. Not so drastically that you don't recognize that it's still a James Bond flick, but enough that you could really kind of give it a, a different take. Like I look at the Mass Effect series and if you watch what they did with that, it was almost the exact same lines that these people were reading word for word. I think they were the exact same lines. But if you played it as the female version, a lot of people say that was the better version to play it as. Just because that character fit better towards the female than it did for the male version of Shepard. Uh, and I could see this, you know, not necessarily overtaking that mantle. But I could see us getting something cool as a supplement to James Bond. Just like you had with the, du the dual, you know, male or female characters in Mass Effect. I thought it was a really good, cool storytelling way. Uh, storytelling mechanic. I actually played the game through three times for all of them. One as a good man, one as a bad guy, and one as a female. You know, and she was kind of good because I like to be good in video games. But that's just me. Yeah. But it made me want to do it just because it, it it gave me a different 
I, I don't know why it changed so much, her just being a female, but it did. It did change it for me. And it changed it in a good way, uh, a refreshing way, uh, you know, a, a really cool way. So I'm not saying that he's out there like saying, oh, blah, 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 I hate women or anything, because Roger Moore is not doing that. He's 89 years old. Yeah. Let's, you know, he's, he's a little bit past his problem. I, I'm just saying I disagree with him. I think having a female 007 as Jane Bond would be a really cool thing. So, well, the other thing there, though, when you take bring a Mass Effect, it was written and designed to be either one. That that's yeah. the difference, well, yeah. though, with that's what true. Roger Moore is saying is that James Bond was written to be a male character. And I've seen some arguments out there talking about that that he has a long history of being not even just a male character, but a very particular style of uh, machismo male, even. Particularly Which a I, British white male yeah, who's a womanizing you know, guy. He's kind of a womanizer, and he's kind of misogynistic. And, uh, yeah. you know, I mean, he does some movies, I'd say. <laughs> you know, yeah. but, He's a very but, particular yeah, character. But that's why I want to see that. And as a female, like, you could change it just a little bit, and it would bring a whole new depth to the character. Yeah, the, the one thing that... be, a, you know, a cocky person, suave, debonair, yeah, you know. I think you're right. I think you're right that that can be done. Um, the other question, though, that arises is, does this end up confusing the audience? In that no. James Bond mm -hmm. has been developed as also a, uh, a vicariously living character for a lot of people that are his biggest fans that have been following him well, for... Well, like me, I'm a huge fan of James Bond. Do I wish I could go and, you know... Uh, get very, very beautiful women and ride on into space and, and destroy evil Spectre. Yeah, hell yeah. But, like, why can't women have the same vision? Why could not they want to live dangerously? That, why can't true. they have their vicarious character? That's true. But you could, one, either make a new character, but also, from a commercial standpoint, if you, you don't already have that market, you don't want to lose the market that you already have. You don't know Fair if enough. you're going to be able to... to that's a business side. Now, I'll say, mm -hmm. personally... I don't care. It could go either way for me, but I'm also not actually one of the the big long-standing Bond film fans. Like I've liked them, but I'm not I'm not that level. Like I know people that are huge Bond fans. You're a mm -hmm. bigger Bond fan than I. I've am. seen all of them. Yeah, I haven't even seen Multiple all of them. Times. And I've seen a lot of them. I've enjoyed them to a degree, but I I don't wish I was Bond. That's not the. <laughs> the uh, image I go for, so I don't well, know. Well, I'm not saying I wish I was Bond. I just I, wish I, know, I could do I'll some like, Bond's things. I mean, he does some pretty cool things, man. I, I'm just saying that. An Aston Martin. You know what my favorite luxury car of all time is? The Aston Martin. Okay. Because of James Bond. If I could go back, I'd go get the 1966 one from, I believe, Goldfinger yeah. and uh, drive that around Yeah, all day. But that's what I'm saying. Like, I don't care if they if they change them, but I'm not the guy that's at that level that, that cares that much about Bond either. I don't know about mm -hmm. the rest of his constituents. You're closer to it, so maybe no one else will care. Um, no, I have a feeling there'd be a big backlash. I have a feeling. And I'm just trying to say there shouldn't be. There should We should embrace it. Even if it's a bad movie, I want to go see it. Now, you know? I, I, I just think it's we need to get more freshness in Hollywood. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I love my superhero movies. I love them to death. I'm going to go see Doctor Strange this Friday because it looks amazing. But we need some freshness in Hollywood. And I think this is a way of not quite pulling people away from what they're used to, but giving them some fresh. So. I, I like to, I like to flip it and do a different angle though. Cause this is something we've brought up before in a different, uh, reboot light. Well, when we've talked about other characters switching either sex or, or race, there's been always that controversy. Like when we talked about ghost in the shell there, there was that controversy that people didn't want switching her race to yeah, be but I'm not white saying... versus mm. Japanese. And that, some people argue was more important that she was Japanese because it's very Ghost in Shell is very set. In Do they Japan. realize she's an android? Yeah, and that that's always what we talk. There's always those different angles. I mean, come on. But I'm saying too, like again with James Bond, could we make him not British? I, I don't think we could. No, that no would make James sense. Bond has to be British. So there's James that. Bond. 007 has to be British. Does he have British, to be? Right? This has also come up. Does he have to be white versus? Uh, some, uh, which again, if he's British, no, it doesn't no, matter. Because I've so, actually, I, I believe I brought it up on the show too. I think Idris Elba would make an amazing James Bond. Yeah, Just and th amazing. they've they've talked about that too. With the possibly being female, could also be non-white, could also be non-white female. 
So whatever. Well, and and if I had but to does, pick my does two this actresses all off play the, top the same? Of my head, that I, is what I'm saying. Yeah, does but this the two all actresses play I'd same? like to see in this part off the top of my head is Charlize Theron because she's just amazing in absolutely everything, and she can pull off this part so incredibly well. And uh, actually, it's another non-white actor. It, well, it's not another. A non-white actress, Lupita Nyong'o, uh, just because she's got a fierceness to her that I think could really come across off-screen as a, a Jane Bond, really, really cool. So, yeah, they'd have to have a British accent. I don't know if either one of them do. I don't know, but uh, you, I, they you'd have to it. keep some things the same. He mm-hmm. has to be a British agent. I mean, that's what he is. I mean, otherwise, he's not part of MI6. He's, you have to change, and something. then he's not 007, and you know, yeah. So he has to stay. British, but you know, uh, that, you can change. That's something things. I've actually been wondering though: is do we need him to stay? Do we need this franchise to stay with James Bond forever? Why can't we do the other agents? Like we haven't se- uh, actually just even if we keep James Bond, why don't we see other agents? Because we only see them interact with him. No, we do. We see what a I'm couple saying, here like, and there. We saw like Trevor and, and Gold. Not, and Gold I'm, and I mean, uh, no, there there have been several of them show up and they talk about the mm-hmm. other agents. All Felix, his American CIA counterpart, yeah. pops up in a bunch of the movies. I'm saying, like, why don't we get uh, separate movies for some of these other agents? Because mm, it's just like doing a James Bond movie. I, maybe, or maybe you get you do something better with them. I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't but. That we digress. We digress. So hit us up. Let us know what you think. Would you like to see a female version of James Bond on screen or not? Uh, hit us up. Comments down below and shoot us some actresses you think would be great in the part. Hit us up. Comments down below. Of course, at what's my face on Twitter, Google Plus, Facebook. Always good ways of getting a hold of us. Mm-hmm.